Hello guys, today I wanted to shoot a quick video about route resource controllers and the most typical mistake I see people do with those. Probably a lot of you will know that thing, but I see so many occasions of that on Liarcast or other forums that I decided that it deserves a separate short video. So imagine a typical resource controller and you want to add another method to it. So typical resource controller consists of seven methods, which is index. In my case, I'm just returning the text for demo purposes. Then it's create form store, which is submit for create form, then show showing the record, then edit form, update form and destroy for delete. Right? So if we load that in the browser slash projects, it's a typical resource controller. It goes to index method and returns the text. In reality, it will be probably a table of some kind or something like that. Now what if you want to add another action to that controller, to the resource controller. So at the bottom, let's add export and it will export the projects into some kind of PDF or Excel or something like that. And we add the route. So do route get, get projects export, and then assign the controller and the method, which is project controller class like this. PHP storm auto completes some of that stuff for that and method export right laravel 8 syntax and let's copy and paste that into the browser so projects export and we copy that into the browser and see what happens so i will zoom it in a bit what we expected is projects for export but reality is id export which comes from the show method in the show method it is here so the most typical mistake i mentioned earlier that in the routes web extra methods for the resource are conflicting with the show method of that resource so project slash anything actually automatically corresponds to project slash id in the show method here so if you add any route like this it won't be triggered at any time because it's overridden by the resource now how to fix that is just put that route before the resource so if it's before the resource, it will be the first triggered and only then the show method. So now if we do project export, refresh, we have projects for export. But if that part is not the export, we get the show. So just a simple tip, if you have any other methods or routes to the route resource, just add them before the resource. If you want more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel because I'm shooting the videos almost daily now. Also, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter of Laravel News, where I share 20 or something links every week from news on Laravel or new packages or my own videos. So join 5,000 subscribers already. The link will be in the description below. And see you guys in other videos.